In this tutorial, we're going to talk about the Move Device tool. Now, Move Device is under the uh, Live Capture, um, and I'm going to show two different methods. One of them is when I have a reference model and I want to move my device around it, and another one is if I have no reference information in there, I want to scan, move, and scan again. Um, so to start off, we'll use this CAD model. I'll have to align to it first. I'm not currently aligned. So I'll come into Live Align, and I'm going to do a datum alignment. I'm going to select the top plane, side, side, and hit OK. Now, once I do that, it will direct me face. to go probe those features. So I'll go ahead and probe. Planar face. Planar face. All geometries. So now I'm just going to exit live inspect. And we'll go ahead and collect some scan data. So let's come into live capture. And we'll go ahead and collect some scan data. So many times the reason why you're collecting the scan data and moving the device is because you can't reach the entire part from all from one position. Um, so today what we're going to do is instead of changing the position of the scanner itself, we're going to change the position of the part, which will create essentially the same issue. So I'll come over and I'll say change position. And it gets out of the command. Now if I come over to the move device, what you do here is you select, um, I like to use six different locations and make sure that you select them in a certain order that you remember. So if I want to click here, 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 there, there, and there. So once I have those locations, I hit OK and I move the part to a new location. So now I'm, I've moved the part to a new location and I'm going to go ahead and probe those locations. So I'll come over here and I'll scan, uh, probe. Now the, it doesn't actually have an updated location until you probe the first three. Um, so it creates a rough alignment from those first three. Now you'll be able to see And it moves the location for you. Now, if I just jump back over to Live Capture. And scan the other side, you'll see that it aligns them together. So that is the alignment method um, using a reference object. So for the other method, I'm just going to create an empty document. I'm not even going to bother aligning at the beginning. I'm just going to scan. All right. I'm just going to scan part of the object. I'm going to hit the back button here, and I'm going to say change position again. Now Probe with, reference position. Now with this method... It wants three point reducible objects. So a point, a sphere, or a circle that reduces down to a point. Because it's basically going to do a fit based on points. So if I had location nests, I would use this. So the um, situation where I might have these point nests where I put the probe in it and collect the point. Now in this instance, you see I have spheres on the part. So that makes it very easy here. Or... Uh, I can use circles if I wanted to as well, which I would probe the plane, then probe the circle, probe the plane for each one of these. Now what I'm going to do is probe the uh, spheres for this one. Plane. Sphere. Plane. Sphere. Plane. Sphere. Probe new position. So now I'm going to move it back over here. Yeah. 
and probe these same spheres in the same order. Sphere. Sphere. And then it leaves you inside of this where you can put the probe around with the scan data and get a verification if it's aligned or not. And then I hit back, it actually gives me um, the statistics there. And then I can hit OK. Now, if I want to go scan again just to test that. lines the two together. So that's the second method exit live capture is using the point reducible features when you don't have a reference object. So that is move device.